everybody welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today today i'm going to share a card with you and i'm starting off my card with a piece of watercolor cardstock that i've cut and my watercolor paints are just at the side of me here i've just spritzed them with water and i'm just going to put some color onto my background so moving on i'm bringing in my stamping tool i'm going to do some stamping on this background here and i'm bringing in this stamp set here it's a craft work cards one and it's called wildflower meadow and i'm going to put some stamping on the front of my card i just love these wildflowers i just think they're lovely so i'm going to start off with this one here and i'm just going to stamp one each of the flowers I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, so I'm just going to ink up my stamp. I'm just going to go over it a couple of times just to try and get a nice impression. Then I'm bringing in the second one. Okay, so I'm going to ink up my second stamp. And I'm going to stamp down. And I'm going to go over it again. And then I'm going to bring in another one. Same again. Stamp down again. Okay, so there we go. And while I've got my stamping tool out, I'm going to do my sentiments. So I'm just going to use one from this Apple Blossom Favourite Sentiments, and I'm just going to use this one here, the thank you one. And I'm just going to stamp at the top there. going to go over it again I'm just going to take it out of my stamping tool and I'm going to put some clear embossing powder over my sentiment so I'm just bringing in my black ink spray and I'm going to put some black splatters And I'm just going to put on my heat gun and dry off that ink. I'm just bringing in my black archival ink and I'm just going to ink around the outside of this piece of card just to grunge it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put my cards together now and I've got a white just 5 by 7 card base here and I've got a piece of pattern paper that of course I'm going to stick this piece of pattern paper onto my card. I'm just going to use my tape runner. Just going to stick that down. I have left a little white border around all four sides. Okay, so I'm going to stick the piece that I've worked on onto the front of my card. Just make sure that I'm the right way around. 
so that's my card finish for today i do hope you've enjoyed the video i really enjoyed putting that card together as always thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time to watch i'll leave links in the description to the products that i've used and until my next video guys thank you bye